using a 19 millimeter socket, we're going to go ahead and remove our lug nuts. Go ahead and set those aside. Remove the wheel, set that aside. Using a 34 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove our axle nut here. Go ahead and set that aside. Now with the key in the on position, we're gonna go ahead and grab our brake assembly and we're gonna go ahead and turn this. It's gonna give us better access to our outer tie rod end. We're gonna go ahead and remove this nut here so we can go ahead and remove the tie rod end from our knuckle. Using an 18 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove this nut. Let's go ahead and pop this unit up and up. Go ahead and set that aside. Using a 21 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove this nut. We're going to use an 18 millimeter wrench to hold the side of the bolt. And repeat for the lower bolt. Go ahead and remove those nuts. And our upper bolt is popping right out for us. The lower bolt might need a little bit of persuasion to come out, so we're just gonna tap the end of this here, work that bolt out. At this point here, let's go ahead and work the knuckle free from our strut. We're gonna hold on to this because we don't wanna have premature pressure on our brake hose here. While we're doing this, we're gonna go ahead and work our CV axle out by pushing in on the middle. Go ahead and work that axle out. We're gonna go ahead and use a bungee cord. Go ahead and support this unit. Pretty much you can hook it anywhere you want just to support that unit from pulling on this hose. So we're gonna use our small pry bar. I'm gonna put it up against the housing or the back side of our CV axle. And we're just gonna hit that with our hammer. And we're just popping that out of our transmission. It is now loose. So with that loose, we're gonna go ahead and give it a couple more taps, but you wanna have a catch can or some towels underneath because transmission fluid may be coming out, like so. Back from the wheel well area, go ahead and grab that axle. I'm gonna pull that straight out. We have our splined end here. Go ahead and check our axle seal here in the transmission. We're gonna run our finger around the rubber seal, check to see if there's any deformities or anything like that. Now, if you have a seal or you want to go ahead and replace the seal, now's the time to do it. Our seal feels good, so we're going to go ahead and install our axle. Now, installing our axle, there is a clip on the end here. This needs to snap in once we get it in. You're going to line this up. You're going to rotate our axle so that the splines line up. I'm going to use my dead bull hammer on the end of the axle and we're just going to go ahead and tap that axle in and feel around the back side and you'll feel that the axle is right up against the transmission. So our clip is popped in, our axle is seated up against the transmission. Let's go ahead and take our first bolt. I want to go ahead and get this lined up. Get that in there. We're going to get tap our bolt in. Once that's in, let's go ahead and work on getting our lower bolt in. I'm going to go ahead and tap that in a little bit. Go ahead and get the nut started and zip those down as far as you can by hand. Let's go ahead and snug these bolts down. Go 
go ahead and spin on our axle nut. Let's go ahead and get that snug down. On the back side, we want to make sure that our ABS wire is hooked up into our retaining clip here, like so. I'm going to go ahead and torque our strut to knuckle bolts to 96 foot pounds for each bolt. I'm going to go ahead and install two lug nuts. We're simply going to rotate this around a little bit. I want to go ahead and torque down our axle nut to 118 foot pounds. Use a pry bar like so. Let's go ahead and install our wheel. To start all of our lug nuts and get those threaded on by hand first. Once all these are on, we're going to go ahead and get those snug down. torque down our wheels to 100 foot-pounds. Now that we have your wheels torqued, you want to go ahead and bring your vehicle down to your local alignment shop and get that taken care of so you don't have premature tire wear. So at this point here, we had our axle put back in. Let's go ahead and check our transmission fluid. What you want to do first is start up the vehicle. Let it warm up for about 10 minutes, and you can go ahead and shut the vehicle off. You're going to come underneath the hood, and you're going to locate your transmission dipstick. It is back here behind the engine. You're going to pull this out, and this is the dipstick, and you're going to wipe it off. What you want to check is make sure that your fluid is between these two dots or in the hash mark. It is, if it's low, you want to go ahead and add fluid accordingly to get up to that point. Insert the dipstick all the way. Now you can see here that our fluid is right in the middle of that hash mark and everything looks good. Go ahead and insert the dipstick and make sure that's seated in place. Now we put our dipstick back in. Now if you find that you need to add fluid, go ahead and keep your dipstick out. Put a funnel in place, add a little bit of fluid, and we're going to repeat that process until we can get that up to its level.